government has been acting on plans to promote financial responsibility in all areas of the public sector through its economic reform program. As a first step, the Public Debt Management Act, which was passed in November 2012, outlined a framework within which decisions would be made on the management of debt. Later, in March 2014, both Houses of Parliament passed fiscal rules legislation. It sets expenditure limits, revenue limits, deficit targets and debt limits. This will then ensure that the budget is sustainable and that the government does not spend more than it's pulling in from revenues and grants. Two acts were amended to make the legislation possible, the Fiscal Administration and Audit Act and the Public Bodies Management Accountability Act. The fiscal rule, which is subject to parliamentary approval, includes an escape clause that will be dependent on adverse shocks like natural disasters. It also includes an automatic correction mechanism. That will allow for any deviations to be addressed in a systematic manner with specified adjustment levels relative to whether the deviations exceed either the lower threshold of 1.5% of GDP or the upper threshold of 3.5% of GDP. In the meantime, government is continuing the process of a fiscal consolidation to ensure that Jamaica continues to reduce its debt. High levels of debt eliminate a capital budget which is essential for growth. High levels of debt become a deterrent to investment, both domestic and foreign. And so, by the end of the fiscal year, Jamaica's debt-to-gross domestic product GDP ratio will come down from 147 to 139 percent. Jamaica would then owe a dollar 39 cents for every dollar of goods produced. The goal is to have a debt-to-GDP ratio of between 95 and 100 percent by 2020 and by 2025, 2026, 60 percent. As part of the Fiscal Responsibility Framework under the Economic Reform Program, government also completed the rollout of a Central Treasury Management System, CTMS. The CTMS is used to manage, among other things, government's cash and bank accounts as well as public debt. About 37 sites have been incorporated into the system, which is resulting in substantial savings to the consolidated fund. All those sites are now online and the government of Jamaica is not holding those balances any longer in the private financial institutions and borrowing the money at great cost to us. Improving efficiency and saving through public sector transformation is also critical to the fiscal responsibility regime. So an agreement was reached with a number of trade unions to provide public sector workers with several benefits in lieu of salary increases between April 2012 and March 2015. 3,000 vacant posts were also removed from the civil service through the Civil Service Establishment Order 2012 resolution. Meanwhile, pension reform, which involves public sector workers contributing to their pensions, should be implemented by April 2016. Public officers must improve their skills in public procurement and at the same time, this, this system must be improved. Government's public procurement system will therefore be revamped to achieve greater levels of transparency, equity and efficiency. The corporate governance framework and the public-private partnerships privatization policy, meanwhile, are addressing weaknesses in public bodies. The government of Jamaica is continuing the mission of economic transformation under its economic reform program, promoting fiscal responsibility through legislation while improving the efficiency of the public sector.